So I want to talk about Dante Martin, this beautiful young man right here. He went to a well-known racist house in Fredericktown, Missouri. He was attending a birthday party. Um, his daughter, James Wade daughter, birthday party. I they didn't say that if he knew that he was he knew that this guy was a well-known uh racist or not. He did they didn't say that. But they said that he went to the birthday party, went upstairs to the attic and shot himself. Why would he go to someone who's well known as a racist? Why did why would he go to anybody's house to kill himself? Shoot, shoot himself in the head. So the original coroner said, Oh, it was a suicide. Left is that. Didn't care. That was it. Well, Dante's mother went and got another coroner to investigate. And a jury disagreed. Now, that wasn't no suicide. That was a murder. They should have already picked him up. Um, I'm going to give you the news report. To know that somebody hurt my grandson and possibly because of the color of his skin. Investigators say Kimberly Robinson's grandson, Durante Martin, died by suicide. She's not so sure. Durante was found dead in this Fredericktown home last month. In the weeks that followed, social media swirled with theories and accusations that the homeowner, James Wade, had something to do with it or knew more than he was letting on. I know I didn't do it. And I tried to help him, but nobody's talking about that, you know. Y'all see that big-ass rebel they flag they in the back? And everything from a racist serial killer to a big-time meth killer, and, you know, uh, I'm muted. Wade said he got home from a day of fishing about 30 minutes before he heard the shot. I was downstairs, and, and I was, you know, he just shot himself and, evidence revealed the male subject died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Weeks later, the I-team asked for an update on the case from Sheriff Katie McCutcheon. In a statement she wrote, the investigation is still ongoing. Do you believe this was a self-inflicted gunshot wound? There are no findings on my examination of a contact gunshot wound. Durante's family hired forensic pathologist Dr. Jane Turner to perform a second autopsy. After years with the St.